So, we have uh, learned so far this basically Bohr model from Bohr model we have seen that energy of an atom it is uh, it is uh, quantized. So, this uh, that we have seen that uh, it is basically r by r h I can write for hydrogen atom r h by z square uh, no r h z square by n square right that we have seen. So, energy levels they are the energy total energy of, of, of electron in a in an atom is quantized. So, energy level we have seen for n equal to 1 n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, right. And this this transition n equal to 5, n equal to 6, n equal to 6, n equal to 7, etcetera. So, right, so it can be same. then I think I should make it longer. Then this type of transition also possible. So, so on it is a uh, it is a uh, basically after that it is basically the error okay. so, continue. So, this energy level E equal to basically 0 and here E equal to minus 13.6 EV. Okay. So, uh, Bohr, what is the success of Bohr model? Success of Bohr model first one is it was able to it was able to explain the atomic spectra especially this atomic spectra of hydrogen okay it was able to exactly find out the wavelength of each each uh, spectral lines and uh, before bohr model only bummer series was uh, was discovered 
because it was in visible range. Okay. So, this wavelength is between 400 to uh, 700. So, this is the uh, for visible light. Okay. So, that is why it, it was easy to see in spectrometer, but later on, but Bohr model. So, this basically this, this series was observed. So, this Bummer series. it is in visible range. So, wavelength below this visible range, this uh, uh, smaller wavelength higher frequency. So, that is basically uh, UV range, this side UV range, ultraviolet range okay. and higher to Bummer series. So, this uh, infrared region. So, that is that that is so, that is why this series and the other series was not visible, but, uh, but later on it was found it was it was found that there are other series, but that series that the indication from that existence of the other series uh, was got from the Bummer model of uh, Bohr model and which was able to explain or reproduce not reproduce which was uh, able to uh, able to tell about the root of the uh, empirical formula of Bamar that we have seen. So, these two series these are ultraviolet range and this this side is uh, it is uh, uh, this called infrared region, this side is infrared region, infrared region, okay. this side is infrared region. So, so Bummer this uh, Bohr from Bohr model is we have seen that this is the constant, generally we tell this is the term value, generally we take the term value term. So, this z square and these are 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Okay. So, that was the basically uh, new bar, it is the new bar. Okay. So, for hydrogen z 1 has to take z equal to 1. Okay. So, for Bummer series, it was for n equal to for Bummer series, it was n 1 equal to 2 and then n 2 equal to higher 3 higher uh, energy 3, 4, 5, etcetera. Right. So, from this Bohr model, one can easily think about that when n 1 equal to n 1 equal to 1 and then n 2 equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, etcetera. So, then this type of transition should be possible and we should be able to see uh, this another series and uh, later on it was discovered, it was found and uh, that series is called Lyman series, Lyman series. Okay. Similarly, when n equal to n 1 equal to 3 and n 2 equal to 4, 5, etcetera. So, then there should be another series and that is uh, called passing series, passing series P A S C H E N passing series. Okay. So, this n equal to 4 and then n 2 equal to 5, 6, 7, etcetera. So, this series is called bracket series, bracket, bracket series okay. and there are also another series.
okay. So, this for n equal to n 1 equal to 5, n 2 equal to 6, 7, etcetera. So, this series is called Fund, Fund series, Fund series. Okay. So, this actually this initially one uh, series was observed that is called Bummer series empirical with empirical formula it was explained. Now, board model was able to explain that empirical formula. Basically, what is the root of this empirical formula? So, that was board model was able to explain that one. Not only that, it it predicts the existence of other series, okay, and it was discovered later on. So, that is the that is the uh, one can say this the uh, success of Bohr model. Second, <coughs> due to correction, this correction to the Bohr model to the Bohr model. or more that energy model due to considering the finite mass of nucleus, considering the finite mass, considering the finite mass of nucleus, mass of nucleus. So, that I have we have seen this m we replaced by mu, mu is basically m m by m plus m right. And from after this correction it was possible to discover the deuteron ok. So, it is basically isotope of hydrogen, isotope of hydrogen deuteron that we have discussed. So, these are the basically success of this Bohr model and uh, third one also one can claim that uh, uh, this Bohr model is basically for one electron system, but for many electron system you cannot apply this one directly to many electron system, but it uh, but it indicates, it tells that that in many electric system, in many electron system, this theory may not be applicable directly. But the existence of the quantized energy level, so that should be uh, should be found in uh, in any atom of having many electrons. Okay. So, so this from this work, so one can tell that the existence of one can assume the existence of discrete energy level. or quantization of energy in all atoms, whether it is single electron system or it is many electron system. Okay. So, for so this uh, so these things uh, this thing was, was taken as a success of Bohr model. Another aspect also one can discuss that about the Mosley law X a X a
एक्स रे स्पेक्टर एक्स रे स्पेक्टर एन मूज ले लो सो हट बार मूज ले लो इट वॉज एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द इट वॉज एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द एक्स रे स्पेक्टर एंड दिस बोर्ड मॉडल दैट हट बार द एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव गट so that was able to explain this mozle law so that i can just uh, discuss so let me so one has to know how x ray is produced how x ray is generated how x ray is generated so x ray is generated basically from cathode from cathode electrons emits electron emits okay and there is a anode there is a anode so basically high voltage is applied between cathode and anode then this emitted electron it will be accelerated and it will hit the anode we get a little target it's uh, Uh, it is made of uh, made of generally molybdenum copper or cobalt this type metal is used for this target and then from here x ray come out from here radiation come out and that's wavelength is is uh, uh, in the range of 1 angstrom or 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 0.1 to 10 angstrom in that range so that's a x ray if you see in spectroscopy this x ray then you will see the uh, spectrum distribution intensity distribution of this x ray as a function of wavelength so it's 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 like this this different curve i have drawn for different applied voltage so it is generally in kilo kilo volt range this kilo volt 20 kilo volt or this say 30 kilo volt this 40 kilo volt so one can write also kilo electron volt that is the energy of of electron okay kilo electron volt one can write so this type of x ray so this uh, here what can see this is the continuous x ray all sorts of wavelength are there but its intensity depends on the depends on the wavelength okay now apart from that what happens at higher uh at higher voltage so sometimes or in other voltage also but intensity depends so it's a superimpose of some peak superimpose of some peak okay Okay, so resultant resultant uh, intensity distribution is like this. So one is continuous X-ray like this, and another is 
some peak appears, some peaks appears, okay. Also, this this minimum wavelength of this continuous axis it depends on the it depends on the wavelength or oh sorry it depends on the on the voltage applied between the cathode and anode. Okay. So, that was not understood that was not understood why why it should depend it should depend on the on the voltage why the smaller than this wavelength for this 20 k kilo electron volt why smaller than this wavelength is not observed it is not it seems it is not possible. Okay. So, this issue was not understood also. So, this peaks from where they are coming from where they are coming so, that is also not understood, but for a, but this wavelength of all these peaks, wavelength of the, all these peaks is same. Okay. So, the drawing is not perfect, so, but, but wavelength for all these, these, these peaks. Okay. So, so, it does not this wavelength does not depend on this voltage this peak. So, this is same peak, this is also same peak. Okay. So, these two peak whatever here the wavelength for other voltage also this wavelength are same. So, it is uh, it's the voltage independent whereas, this one voltage dependent. Okay. So, origin of this uh, now it is fine it is uh, understood. So, what Mosley did? So, this peak name was given k beta and this say k alpha ok k beta k alpha also these are k beta line this are these are k alpha line. So, wavelength is chosen means one can one can get from here corresponding frequency one can find out and he used different target different material anode material and found that this k alpha k beta. So, their wavelength depends on the on the material it depends on the material. Okay. So, it depends on the z value. So, he plotted he plotted this z and this square root of nu frequency square root of nu and found that this is the the straight line one for k. So, one has to see. So, frequency. So, this is higher wavelength k alpha that is higher wavelength. So, it will be lower frequency it will be lower frequency okay, for same jet it will be lower frequency. So, it will be for k alpha and it should be for k beta okay. and it is it, 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 it is straight line. So, for different material when he calculated and plotted the data and he found they are following the straight line. Okay. So, and he gave the empirical formula. So, that is uh, new he found this empirical empirical formula that new equal to new equal to some constant some constant new equal to some constant z minus some that sigma it is uh, uh, it is also sigma is constant but is material dependent. So, that later on I will will discuss. Uh, so, sigma it is a square. Okay. So, this type of empirical formula 
was able to fit this data and of course, the square root of this basically this square will not be there. So, it, it, it this 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 uh, expression is basically for straight line. Okay. So, that is called the basically Mosley law this is called Mosley law. So, this was the picture and that now after this Bohr model, so it was understood this formula that our new was what was that new bar was basically Rydberg constant by z square Rydberg constant uh, it was z square no z square multiplied by n square this term right. When I will write when I write E n then I should not write R h because yeah um, that I should not write R h because I will miss uh, one should not write here if I write R h then I have to write basically. Uh, so, it is not E n really people write as a term value T, it is write as a T term value. So, I cannot write E n if I write R h. So, new bar equal to this, okay. this for say R is constant for hydrogen then it is uh, it's not n square now it is 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Okay. So, this is constant this is constant and now this was explained. So, this this peak this peak these are line Okay, at a particular wavelength. So, these are coming it is a metal dependent z dependent. So, it is coming from the atom it is coming from the atom and it is basically coming from the atomic transition this radiation is coming from atomic transition. So, so this in atoms okay, it is uh, separation of the of the energy levels it will depend on the on the z value it will depend on the z value. So, basically transition it happens for the outer outer uh, electron. So, only difference is that only difference is that this in case of hydrogen only one electron. So, this electron can see the whole charge full charge of nucleus. Okay. If you have many electron, so outer electron it cannot see the full charge of nucleus because other electrons are there surrounding that nucleus. So, as if this negative charge screened the nucleus nuclear charge okay, positive charge. So, this outer electron it will see less positive charge, okay. it will see less positive charge. So, that is why the z for multi electron the z one can write it is less than z. So, z minus some screening constant z minus sigma, okay. z minus sigma some screening constant. And now, here for for one line, if you consider k alpha line, so if uh, if it is so if it is for n one equal to one, and n two equal to say two, okay, so n one square n two square. So this also constant, it will give some value. So your new bar, so new bar equal to basically is uh, c new. Okay. New bar equal to C nu. 
So, nu equal to basically uh, one should write divide by c divide by c remember this c and this c is not same these are light velocity and these are some constant ok. So, nu so from here one can say this nu equal to r h this constant this constant this also constant. So, nu is equal to some constant c this is velocity c light velocity z minus sigma whole square ok. So, this peaks is basically coming from the transition from one energy level to the other energy level ok. So, for other one if it is for k alpha it if it is for uh, k alpha then for k beta it is basically uh, this transition from n 1 equal to 2 to n equal to n 1 n 2 equal to 3 ok. So, again it is constant ok some value. So, this c will be different than the earlier c. So, it is basically showing the slope. So, slope will be different slope will be different ok. So, this is also is taken as a success of Bohr model success of Bohr model that it can explain the fixed this uh, Mosley law ok. So, and just I will tell you what is the reason for this one it is uh, uh, so when this accelerator electron is coming and hitting this material. So, it try to penetrate inside the material and the it de So, it lose energy is lose energy and that energy come out as a radiation ok because deaccelerated charged particle it radiates. So, that is why it is the this we get this continuous x ray and when it is falling and it is deaccelerated and also what happens it uh, excite some electrons from ground state to the higher energy state and due to this excitation again within within very short time these electrons come back to the again ground state and this energy difference whatever electron absorb or got from this deaccelerated electron now again this it release as a radiation and so that transition it material dependent it is the energy level dependent and energy level depends on the material ok. So, so this uh, uh, we get so that is the origin for this k alpha k beta k gamma some other other l alpha l beta. So, different nomenclature is there so that we generally get ok. So, that is the reason for getting this. So, that is why this x ray is called the characteristics x ray characteristics x ray and what happens for this this one. So, sometimes it happen this if this full energy. So, electron accelerated electron it is it, it falls on the target material it is trying to paint it inside, but sometimes what happens this atoms absorb this full energy whole energy ok and it emits there will be transition and it emits ok radiation ok. So, whole energy basically that is E v right whatever voltage on this electron this two whole energy if it is converted to the uh, radiation. So, what will be the wavelength this energy? Now, this we will get radiation. So, wavelength is, is h nu, wavelength is not wavelength, this energy will be uh, energy of the radiation will be h nu. So, that two should be equal. So, you will get nu equal to h by E v, E v. So, nu equal to basically c by lambda. C equal to uh, new lambda c equal to c equal to new lambda ok. So, I will get new equal to c by lambda yes I will get c by lambda ok. 
So, lambda equal to so I will get lambda equal to E v lambda equal to E v c by h E v c by h. Okay. So, E c v h are constant. So, v is voltage applied voltage. Okay. So, so you cannot get lower value than this because this is the whatever value of voltage. So, whole energy converted to the uh, converted to the radiation. So, corresponding wavelength. So, that will be the minimum wavelength that will be the minimum wavelength. Okay. Minimum wavelength means maximum frequency, maximum frequency means maximum energy. Okay. So, you will get minimum wavelength for a particular voltage. So, that is what happened okay. and voltage is higher and higher this lambda m will be higher and higher lambda m will be voltage is higher and higher lambda m will be lambda minima that is the minima value will be higher and higher it seems have I did any mistake yes so that is the problem I did mistake it has to be uh, it is not that it will be just opposite E v by that is why my explanation was getting stuck. So, E v by h. Okay. So, now this c by lambda now lambda minima will be h c by E v yes. So, it is basically h c by E v yes. Now, if voltage is higher so this lambda will be lower. So, that is a voltage is higher lambda minimum lambda lambda minima will be lower yeah. So, that is the that is the things ok. So, I will stop here. So, thank you.